This is an example about income elasticity. A product will be inferior if we have a negative relationship between income and demand, which means income and demand move in opposite directions. For example, if income goes up, demand will go down and vice versa. If income goes down, demand will go up. Consequently, if we calculate income elasticity, it will be negative. It will be lower than zero for inferior good. So let's get a numerical example for income elasticity. Let's assume that the income is 100, quantity demanded is 200. If income increases to 110, quantity demanded will decrease to 180. So here, as you see that, the higher the income, the lower the quantity demanded. It means that we have a negative relationship between income and the quantity demanded. Consequently, it means that this product is inferior. Can we prove it through the formula of income elasticity? Yes, we can. Our income elasticity formula is the percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income. We will use the midpoint formula. So our formula will be new quantity demand minus all the quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demands divided by new income minus old income divided by the average of income. So let's substitute with numbers. Our new quantity demand is 180 minus 200 divided by open bracket 180 plus 200 close bracket divided by 2 divided by do the same with income. Our new income is 110 minus old income 100 divided by open bracket 110 plus 100 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.11 divided by 0.10. This will give us negative 1.11. Remember, for income elasticity, what's our benchmark? Our benchmark will be zero. If income elasticity is equal to zero, it means that it's sticky products. It means that if we change income, it will not affect the quantity demand. If it's bigger than zero, it's normal good. If it's lower than zero, it's inferior good. With normal good, we can also have another classification which is benchmark of one. If it's between zero and one, it's a necessity. If it's bigger than one, it's luxurious. Therefore here we have income elasticity is equal to negative 1.11, which means it's lower than zero, it's negative, consequently it's inferior good. Remember here with income elasticity, we don't use absolute value. We use absolute value only with price elasticity of demand. Therefore, what will be our interpretation? It means here that our income elasticity is equal to negative 1.11 divided by 1, which is negative 1.11. So what does it mean? It means that if income changes by 1%, our quantity demanded will change by negative 1.11%. Or to be more precise, if income increases by 1%, quantity demanded will decrease by 1.11%. Let's get another example where income decreases. So let's assume that income is 100, quantity demanded is 200, income decreases to 90, quantity demanded will increase to 220. So as you see here, we have a negative relationship between income and the quantity demanded. Lower income will increase the quantity demand. Therefore, these goods are inferior. Therefore, let's calculate it using income elasticity, which is the percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income. We will use the midpoint formula, so we'll get new quantity demand minus old quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demands divided by new income minus old income divided by average incomes. Let's substitute. Our new quantity demand is 220 minus 200 divided by open bracket 220 plus 200 close bracket divided by 2 divided by. Let's do the same with income. New income 90 minus old income 100 divided by open bracket 90 plus 100 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us 0.10 divided by negative 0.11. This will give us negative 0.9. Remember, what's our benchmark for income elasticity? Zero. If it's zero, it means that this good is sticky. If it's bigger than zero, it's a normal good. Lower than zero, it's inferior good. A normal good can also be classified as necessity and luxurious. Our new benchmark will be one. If it's between zero and one, it's necessity. Bigger than one, luxurious. Therefore, here we have income elasticity is equal to negative 0.9. It's negative. It's lower than zero. Therefore, it is inferior. Therefore, we'll say that our income elasticity is equal to percent change in quantity demand divided by percent change in income. It's equal to negative 0.9 divided by 1, which is equal to negative 0.9. Therefore, we can interpret it as if income changes by 1%, our quantity demanded will change by negative 0.9%. Or to be more precise, if income decreases by 1%, quantity demanded will increase by 0.9%. Then, 
A normal good, it means that we have a positive relationship between income and demand, which means income and demand move in the same direction. For example, if income goes up, demand will go up. If income goes down, demand will go down. Therefore, if we calculate our income elasticity, it will be bigger than zero, which means it will be positive. Also, we have another benchmark, which means if income elasticity is bigger than zero, but lower than one, it means that it's also a necessity. Therefore, this good will be normal necessity. Let's get a numerical example about a normal necessity good. So if we have an income of 100, quantity demanded of 200, if income increases to 110, quantity demanded will increase as well as 210. So here, higher income, it means higher quantity demanded. It means that we have a positive relationship, so we could tell that it's a normal good. Let's prove it with income elasticity. Our formula of income elasticity is percent change of quantity demand divided by percent change of income. We will use the midpoint formula, so it will be new quantity demand minus old quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demands divided by new income minus old income divided by the average of income. Let's substitute our new quantity demand is 210 minus 200 divided by open bracket 210 plus 200 close bracket divided by 2 divided by new income of 110 minus old income 100 divided by the average which is open bracket 110 plus 100 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us 0.05 divided by 0.1, this will give us 0.51. Remember what's the benchmark for income elasticity? It's zero. If it's equal to zero, it means that this good is sticky, bigger than zero normal, lower than zero inferior. For normal good, we could have another classification, which is another benchmark, which is one, between zero and one necessity, bigger than one luxurious. Therefore, our income elasticity here is equal to 0.51. It's bigger than zero, therefore it's a normal good. At the same time, 0.51 is lower than 1, it means that it is a necessity. Therefore, this good is normal necessity because it falls between 0 and 1. Then, how are we going to interpret it? We know that the income necessity is equal to the percent change in quantity demand divided by percent change in income is equal to 0.51 divided by 1, which is equal to 0.51. So this means that if income changes by 1%, quantity demanded will change by 0.51%. Or to be more precise, if income increases by 1%, quantity demanded will increase by 0.51%. Let's get another example about normal necessity. If income is 100, quantity demand is 200, income decreases to 90, quantity demand will decrease to 190. So as you see here, if income decreases, quantity demand will decrease. It means that we have a positive relationship between income and the quantity demand. Therefore, this good is a normal good. We can prove it by income elasticity formula. Our income elasticity formula is the percent change in quantity demand divided by percent change of income. We will use the midpoint formula, so we'll get the new quantity demand minus all the quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demand divided by new income minus old income divided by the average income. Let's substitute with numbers. So we'll get here 190 minus 200 divided by open bracket 190 plus 200 close bracket divided by 2 divided by do the same with income 90 minus 100 divided by open bracket 90 plus 100 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.05 divided by negative 0.11. This will give us 0.49. Remember, what is the benchmark for income elasticity? It's zero. If it's zero, it means that it's sticky good. Bigger than zero, it's normal good. Lower than zero, it means inferior. For normal good, we could have another classification, which is if it's between zero and one, it's necessity. Bigger than one, it's luxurious. So here we have income elasticity is equal to 0.49. This is bigger than zero, therefore it's a normal good. At the same time, 0.49 is lower than 1, it means that it is a necessity. Consequently, how are we going to interpret it? We know that our income necessity is equal to the percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income, which is equal to 0.49 divided by 1 equal 0.49. Therefore, if income changes by 1%, quantity demanded will change by 0.49%. Or, if income decreases by 1%, quantity demanded will decrease by 0.49%. We know that 
A good will be normal good if we have a positive relationship between income and demand, which means income and demand move in the same direction. For example, if income goes up, demand will go up. If income goes down, demand will go down. Consequently, our income elasticity will be bigger than zero. Also, we know that if income elasticity is bigger than one, this good will be luxurious. Let's get some numerical examples about normal luxurious good. So, if income is 100, quantity demand is 200. If income increase to 110, quantity demand it will be 230. We know that here higher income leads to higher quantity demand. It means that we have a positive relationship. Consequently, it's a normal good. Let's prove it with income elasticity formula. Our income elasticity is percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income. We will use the midpoint formula. So we'll get here new quantity demand minus all the quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demands divided by new income minus old income divided by the average of income. Let's substitute. We'll get here 230 minus 200 divided by open bracket 230 plus 200 close bracket divided by 2 divided by let's do the same with income 110 minus 100 divided by open bracket 110 plus 100 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us 0.14 divided by 0.10. This will give us 1.47. Remember what's the benchmark for income elasticity? It's zero. If it's zero, it means that it's sticky, good. Bigger than zero, normal good. Lower than zero, it's inferior good. For normal good, we have another classification, which is if it's between zero and one, it's necessity. Bigger than one is luxurious. We know here our income elasticity is 1.47. It's bigger than zero, therefore it's a normal good. At the same time, 1.47 is bigger than one, therefore it is a luxurious good. How are we gonna interpret it? We know that our income elasticity is equal to percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income, which is equal to 1.47 divided by one. It's equal to 1.47. So this means that if income changes by 1%, quantity demanded will change by 1.47%. Or if income increases by 1%, quantity demanded will increase by 1.47%. Let's get another example for normal luxurious good if income decreases. So if income is 100, quantity demanded is 200. If income decreases to 90, quantity demanded will be 170. I know here lower income leads to lower quantity demand. It means that we have a positive relationship because they move in the same direction. Consequently, it's a normal good. Let's prove it with income elasticity formula. Income elasticity is equal to percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income. We will use the midpoint formula. So we'll get here new quantity demand minus all the quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demands divided by new income minus old income divided by the average income. Let's substitute with numbers. 170 minus 200 divided by open bracket. 170 plus 200 close bracket divided by 2. Divided by 90 minus 100 divided by open bracket. 90 plus 100 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.16 divided by negative 0.11 this will give us 1.54. Remember, what's our benchmark for elasticity? It's zero. If it's equal to zero, it means that it's a sticky good. Bigger than zero, normal good. Lower than zero, inferior good. For normal good, it could be classified either necessity or luxurious. If it's between zero and one, it's a necessity. Bigger than one is luxurious. So here we have income elasticity equal to 1.54. It means that it's bigger than zero. Therefore, it's a normal good. Also, 1.54 is bigger than 1. It means that it's a luxurious good. Therefore, we can interpret income elasticity as percent change in quantity demand divided by a percent change of income, which is equal to 1.54 divided by 1, which is equal to 1.54. This means that if income changes by 1%, quantity demanded will change by 1.54%. Or, if income decreases by 1%, quantity demanded will decrease by 1.54%.